International maritime data reveals that the Chinese research vessel Xiangyang Hong 3 has been operating in close proximity to the sea mount, which Sri Lanka claims as part of its continental shelf. Simultaneously, India has expressed interest in exploring the region and was previously granted permission by the International Seabed Authority. However, this approval was revoked upon realizing the sea mount fell within Sri Lanka's territorial claims. The sea mount, located approximately 1,050 kilometers from Sri Lanka and 1,350 kilometers from India, is estimated to contain billions of dollars worth of cobalt, nickel, manganese, and copper. Sri Lanka asserted its rights to the region in 2009, but India countered with its own claims a year later. According to international maritime traffic data, the Chinese ship Xiangyang Hong 3 was in the Bay of Bengal waters yesterday. Certain Indian media outlets reported the ship's involvement in surveillance activities near India. However, meticulous examination of the vessel's route to the Bay of Bengal confirms its origin near the Athanasi Nikitin Seamount. Based on a 14-day data set, the Chinese ship maintained a distance of approximately 600 kilometers from Athanasi Nikitin. International law defines the continental shelf as the submerged extension of a country's landmass. According to established determinations, Afanese Nikitin falls within the Sea of Sri Lanka. Geographically, Afanese Nikitin is situated 1,350 kilometers from India and a closer 1,050 kilometers from Sri Lanka. India submitted a 15-year exploration request accompanied by a $500,000 fee to the International Seabed Authority. Upon considering the application, the IAC determined that the sea mount lies within the continental shelf of another nation and consequently denied India's request. Sri Lanka formally declared its continental shelf rights in the Afanese Nikitin region, rich in minerals including the highly valuable cobalt, to the United Nations in May 2009. India presented its counterclaims in May 2010. Against this backdrop, the recent activities of the Chinese research vessel in the region have drawn significant attention. The Afanese Nikitin Sea Mount encompasses an area of 3,000 square kilometers composed of 150 substantial formations. It has been confirmed to contain significant deposits of cobalt, nickel, manganese and copper. Cobalt, an essential component in rechargeable batteries for smartphones, laptops and electric vehicles, underscores the mineral's strategic importance.